we talked about compounds being different from mixtures. Mixtures have a varying composition. You can have a lot of sugar in your tea or you can have a little sugar in your tea. Whereas a compound has a fixed composition. It always has the same ratio of components. Most of the things that we encounter are not elements in our everyday lives. There are very few elements that are just around as uncombined elements. Most of them are as compounds. Um, and in these compounds, the ratios of the elements are going to be specific. They'll, they'll be definite, and they're going to be the same every time. Whereas in a mixture, the components can vary. Here's an illustration. We've got a balloon. Um, that's got a mixture of oxygen and hydrogen gas in it. You could have a lot of hydrogen and a little bit of oxygen, or vice versa. It's a mixture. But over here, we have, um, what is that? It almost looks like a spleen or something. It's a water balloon, yeah. <laughs> it's like, very, that's just a really weird picture. It looks like it has hair, doesn't it? Okay, it, it's, bro it's breaking. It's in the process of breaking, okay. It took me all that time. It, it looks like it's got mold all over it. It looks like it has mold all over it. Okay, it's a water balloon that's in the process of breaking. Okay, I get it now. <sighs> okay, but this, I understand this part. Here, again, we have oxygen and hydrogen. But this isn't a mixture. Here it's combined in a specific way to form water. Every water particle, every water molecule has one oxygen and two hydrogens. See that? There's a fixed ratio of hydrogen to oxygen. If you have water, it's always two hydrogens to one oxygen. Over here in this balloon, this is a mixture, and you could have more or less oxygen to hydrogen ratio. So um, this guy, Joseph Proust, was the one who first formally stated this back in around 1800. It's called the law of constant composition. That all samples of a given compound have the same proportions of their constituent elements. So it doesn't matter where a compound comes from. If it is water, it's water. And it always has the same proportions. If it's vitamin C that you made in a lab, or vitamin C that you extracted from rose hips, or from some other organic natural source, it's exactly the same stuff. Okay, a compound is always the same. We can look at the mass ratio of the elements in a compound. So for oxygen and hydrogen in water, if we look at um, an 18 gram sample of water, 18 grams of water, uh, 16 grams of that would be oxygen, 2 grams of that would be hydrogen, and so we could make a ratio of 16 grams of oxygen to 2 grams of hydrogen, we're going to find that the ratio is 8, or you could express it as 8.0 to 1. That's going to be tr true of any sample of water, and so you could use that to predict, well, if I had, you know, 500 kilograms of water, how much of that would be oxygen, how much of that would be hydrogen? Or in the water, if I had 500 kilograms of oxygen, how many kilograms of hydrogen would I have? Um, I'll go back a minute. Those sorts of problems, I think there might be a couple in the home.